Most of us know we should eat more healthfully, but we're always on the run, resorting to the foods that are quick and convenient. Unfortunately, that frequently means there are big gaps in your diet, and our nutrient needs aren't being met. This leaves us low in energy and vulnerable to a wide range of health challenges. But there is a healthy way to fill in those gaps, a superfood supplement called spirulina. So rich in nutrients, it can sustain life. If you have nothing else to eat, you could actually survive on spirulina alone. It's pretty amazing. Ken Sabat, Senior VP of RBC Life Sciences, helped bring spirulina to the marketplace more than 25 years ago. I've asked Ken to join us today and share his knowledge on this life-changing superfood supplement. Ken, what makes spirulina so effective? Well, Carolyn, first of all, spirulina is packed with protein. In fact, it's 65 to 70 percent protein. And of that, it's 95 percent digestible. That means on a serving-per-serving basis, you're getting a tremendous amount of protein into your body. Spirulina has got more protein than beef or eggs. Spirulina has a tremendous range of vitamins, especially in the B vitamin range. It's got more vitamin B12 than any other vegetable source on the planet. It also has a lot of iron. It has more iron than calves liver, actually, on a serving-to-serving basis. So you can see it's got protein, it's got B vitamins, it's got iron. One other really important feature, it's got glycogen. And glycogen gives you quick energy. And taking spirulina, after you take it, you feel this feeling of energy. And that energy lasts for several hours during the day. And I think lastly, one of the really important features of spirulina are its range of carotenes and pigments. It's got carotenes like beta-carotene, lycopene, and it's got pigments like chlorophyll. So spirulina has a wide range of nutrients to supply to the body. Well, carotenes are very powerful antioxidants, which benefit immunity. So does spirulina have a benefit to the immune system? Beta-carotene, lycopene, and the other carotenes that are found naturally in spirulina have been the focus of many, many studies on enhancing the immune system. So, Ken, do you take spirulina yourself? I've been using spirulina for more than 25 years now. Uh, I find that I've got an awful lot of energy. In fact, uh, as I look around the office, I realize that I've seem to have more energy than most of the people that I work with, and I attribute that to taking spirulina. I very rarely get sick. I've, uh, you know, all, throughout all these years of taking spirulina, I find while other people are getting colds and the flu, I tend to stay away from the colds and the flu. Well, I too am a big believer in spirulina. I use it at my house all the time, and I've been giving it to my kids since they were in the womb. In fact, with my first daughter, I took spirulina every day to nourish her, and as soon as I went into labor, I drank a big spirulina smoothie and took four microhydrin, and I didn't know at the time, but I was in for a 32-hour labor. We both pulled through with no medical intervention necessary. She came out breathing strong. She had an APGAR score of 10. Now she's three, and I can count on one hand how many times she's been sick in her entire life. So I really love the spirulina, and I give it to my kids every day and take it myself. And I don't recommend 32 hours of labor, but I do recommend spirulina nanoclusters. I think it's a product that everybody should take daily. 